against TCU in that close loss. This is Squirrel Williams in the ball game with nowhere to go, Swan. The explosiveness of DeMarvian Overshown was a trait that won him fans among evaluators. Ultimately, his size-explosiveness combo played a significant role in earning him day two capital from the Dallas Cowboys in last year's draft. Enter Jalen Ford in 2024, who has the same combination, except he may even be a better pure linebacker prospect with the same level of exciting versatility. Jalen Ford, who's listed at 6'3", 242 pounds, notched 101 tackles, 10 and a half tackles for loss, a sack, two picks, and two passes defended last year. Let's talk about strengths. The first thing that stands out about Ford is his length. He uses that six foot three frame to his advantage in all facets of the game. It chokes passing lanes, it helps him get off blocks, and it gives him a wide tackle radius to lasso ball carriers to the ground. Jalen Ford can blitz from space as evident by his 21 pressures last year, but he's just as dangerous in pursuit as a finisher with his ability to rock it up, track runs, close gaps, and break down ahead of tackles. He's a smooth and instinctive coverage defender who plays with keen eyes in space. And then we get to weaknesses. Jalen Ford can continue to develop with his instincts and feel for both gaps to fill and pursue. At times, you see him coming too steep or flat into the track of a running back or scrambling passer and surrendering leverage. Without top flight athleticism, recovery in these instances will be limited and his margin for error will be slim. He also needs to improve his read and react ability as he's often late to the football. In summary, linebackers with size who can hit and cover seem to check all the main boxes and are all the rage in the NFL right now. Jalen Ford has good instincts and coverage and his ability to attack the football is undeniable. There's room for growth in his angles to the football and his work and run support, but the coverage skill set is hard to ignore as the NFL continues to trend up as a passing league. Right now, I've got an end of day two, early day three grade on Jalen Ford. Let's watch some highlights. Against TCU in that close loss. This is Squirrel Williams in the ball game with nowhere to go, Swan swallowed. Way down to the 36. Daniels tapped and intercepted. He had four last year. Self his teammates. Direction to Vaughn. Bad idea. Shoulders. All kinds of time. Shaping it. Picked off at the 40. And it's coming back the other way. See there. Texas with three timeouts remaining. Devin Neal sent down. That gets it cleanly back to Decker's. Fires! Texas's defense comes up with a huge play. Robertson into the end zone, picked off, intercepted by Jalen Fulk. Going again, and this time runs into a swarm of Longhorns. We've got him right. Daniels feels the pressure, steps up. Daniels escapes, loss. Oh, it's intercepted. Texas half of the Cotton Bowl, and it goes incomplete. It would have just been about a